Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one right here is for Always Sunny in Philly. Season 7, episode number 1. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. Tell a friend to tell a friend. It helps the algorithm. Thank you. Alright, just a couple comments from the last episode. Monica coming through to say, Fun fact, Ricky Falcone was played by Pablo Schreiber, best known for American Gods and Orange is the New Black. Just put a mustache on him. I had to look it up. Um... The guy that they were trying to give the present back to. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, then we got yeah. Brandon James coming through to say, I like the fact that the reason Charlie remembered the elf with no pants in Frank's memory is because he remembered a pantless elf running a train on mm -hmm. his mom. Ooh. All right. Then we got executive producer Reef saying that song is stuck in my head for ages. I just love how it starts nice and suddenly it gets so dark. It's hilarious. Yeah, that was insane. All right. Let's jump into season seven, episode one right now. Yes, hello. I would like to apply for an adoption, please. Uh, what are you guys talking about? We're adopting a dog fighting pit bull. We're going to keep it in the bar, all right? Well, why wasn't I consulted about this? Because last time we tried to get a junkyard dog, we wound up getting a junkyard cat, and that's exactly where you're going to go with it. Yeah, because I don't want some goddamn snarling <laughs> hellhound running around inside of our bar. Are you crazy? Oh, uh, look, we're going to rehabilitate the dog, okay? We don't want it to attack other dogs. Now we would like for it to attack people. If it attacks a person, great. Yeah, and if the dog, or when the dog bites a customer, that person then can go home and have a great story for their friends. Yeah, that's true. For everybody. You know, be like, dude, this is why would they be playing? Awesome. <laughs> and if you're an intruder, you should get bit by a I don't understand. Uh, See, uh, how long do you think this process usually takes? Just a dial tone now. She's hung up on me for some reason. For some reason. Because you heard your entire yeah. plan about what you want to do with the dog. Wait for me in the back, man. Okay, man. Frank said, yeah, there's life together. Hey, who's that? My new girlfriend, Roxy. Now that woman seems like a prostitute. Because <laughs> she is. You think a prostitute? Now that woman seems like a prostitute. Oh, we'll make that more my wife. Frank's pretty woman. <laughs> Great title. He got salsa on his shirt. Okay, so here's how things need to go from here on out. You gotta deal with this woman because I can't handle it. Because right? I can't handle it. It's personal and I won't stand for that. <laughs> Somebody needs to take care of that, and that's gonna be me because his fatness is starting to affect our entire crew. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take care of that. Why is that face? So I'm like. What's that smell? Crack. That's crack. They, they know it. Remember, they think it's crack. <laughs> This is no longer a safe environment. Look at Dee's face. Look at Dee's face. I will well, used take to be on issue. Yeah. 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 She's a sweet bitch. No, but she's mean. But she's definitely only in you for the money. Well, so Barbara was only in me for the money. No, but you deserve it. Yeah, but she's better than that, man. Look, I'm already on it, okay? Look, I signed you up with a date with one site. I got you a date, dude. Yeah. 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 Check it out, though. I got a little twist on this date. This girl does think she's meeting a millionaire. Why'd you say that, Charlie? It defeats the purpose. Well, I'm gonna be the millionaire. I'll explain. Alright, check it out. You're gonna play my limo driver, right? You're just like a regular working stick to this girl. She doesn't think you're a millionaire, okay? Then we're out of the date and I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't feel very well. I gotta go home. But let's not waste this date. Why don't you finish the date with my limo driver? You know what I mean? Smart. I mean, yeah, she's not gonna be able to resist Smart. not Smart. Yeah, I'm not a limo driver? This is a good idea. Right? I'm gonna give it a whirl. All right, man. All right. Hey, you hear what? I think he's a dunk. That, that first one's done? Yeah, it's a right. Oh! Ow! Yeah, Woo! Oh. Oh. Thumpy jeans. Oh. Why are they falling through again? The bride just trying to wash them. Okay. It's found them on the bridge. So Matt, In a box. Blood. In a box. I'm gonna show you the damage that you've been doing to your body, and my hope is that it will incentivize you to finally lose some of this disgusting weight you've put on. 
This is ridiculous, dude. Okay? We're getting older. We're not going to look 20 forever. No, I am going to look 20 forever, Mac. Because the older I get, the more vigilant I become. Right? I don't eat lunch anymore, for instance. Yeah. And on odd days, I don't eat breakfast. That sounds miserable. No, dude, it's not miserable. Well, yeah, it is a little bit miserable, but it has to be, man. It has no to pain, be. No gain. I am also constantly in motion. Like right now, dude, I am doing leg lifts that are imperceptible to the human eye. I call them hummingbirds. And although I seem relaxed, I'm actually incredibly tense at all times. Dude, we've been through this, okay? I'm cultivating mass. Stop saying that. You are not cultivating mass. And if you are, stop cultivating and start harvesting. Bro, check this out. Try to move me. Wow, I'm not try to move me, bro. <laughs> I'm cultivating mass. Take a running start. Take a running start. <laughs> oh my god. So He's dead. These test results are not. <laughs> He's dead the whole time. Like brick wall. You try to move me, Doc. No, no, no. Here. Read the results. Well, I see uh, severe dehydration here, multiple vitamin deficiencies, anemia, low blood pressure. Oh my god, pressure. that's poor. Um, yeah. That is. I don't want you to fret, okay? I'm going to get you on my exercise program. I'm going to get you fit as a fit. These are, these are your results, right. Mr. Reynolds. What? No, those can't be my, my results. I'm healthy as shit. Well, uh, not according to your tests. I guess you're just skipping <laughs> food every day. I'm healthier than you, bro! No, no. Well, I, I wouldn't exactly say you're healthy. You have type 2 adult onset diabetes. <laughs> type 2 adult onset diabetes? Diabetes? <laughs> that means you're going to have to inject yourself several times a day with insulin. Or else you probably need to think about losing a little weight. <sighs> but I'm healthy besides the diabetes. Um, the diabetes. But I'm more healthier than he is, I think is the point that you're trying to make. Even with the diabetes. Dude, stop I saying diabetes. Stop, stop saying diabetes. Saying diabetes. <laughs> you okay, Look, he's, he's yeah, tired. Okay. <laughs> Fine, just, uh... He's gonna pass out because he has like eight. I'm good. I'm doing a lot of things. No. Alright. Let's get out of here, bro. I'm gonna get you something to eat. I'm gonna lift you up. No! I'm not strong as I thought that. Okay, I hurt my back. You're not strong. You're just heavy. I'm cultivating a lot of weight. I'm shivering. Yeah, well, you downed that bottle of schnapps like it was a soda pop. Look, Roxy, I'm trying to give you a second chance here, but you're making it very difficult. Hey, this jacket is awesome! Ooh, and it's tighter than dick skin, hey, man. Can you watch your language, please, Roxy? We're in class. Tighter than dick, dick skin, skin, man! What about dick skin? Hi, can I help you with something? No, thank you. We're just trying some stuff on. Uh, uh, okay. Well, you are aware that jacket is $500. Are you implying we can't afford that? Can you? That's none of your business. Um, it's exactly my business. Uh, excuse me, screw your dick skin jacket, man. Oh, no, 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 Roxy, Roxy, oh god, no, don't do that. How do you like me now, gay boy? Oh, uh, okay, okay, gay don't call gay, because it'd be one thing if he wasn't, but he clearly is. Is there is, a problem? So yeah, there's a problem. No, man. I'm trying to buy this coat and this asshole here is giving me shit. Give me shit? You are aware of the price. Well, yeah. Well, I have money. Oh, Ooh. shit! Jerry, can I speak with you in my office, please? <gasps> You have got to be kidding me. She had a pretty woman oh, moment, babe. Space, take a hike. Sorry about the gay stuff that did cross the line. Jerry, please, my office. Roxy, holy shit. That was amazing. Get her together. Help me, somebody, please. Ah, shit, Charlie. What the hell went on back there? <laughs> ah, I swallowed like a million blood capsules because I was going to cough like, you know, a handful of blood to make it real. And now I'm thinking like you're not supposed to eat them or something because they're making me really sick. <laughs> Charlie, you blew it. You're the one talking about eggs and crabs and shit. I love eggs, Charlie. And I love crabs. Wow. And I love boiling denim and banging boiling boards. And I don't care if anybody doesn't like that about me. They don't have to stick around. You're right. What's wrong Screw with them. Chick? He just spit all over her. This is Roxy. Roxy and I are made for each other. Yeah. Tell you what. If it's Roxy, you want to... Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Damn. That is nasty. Tiger Woods. Projectile for me. Over here, Roxy, my place is a mess. Oh, he's here. Are you ready? That is ready. Very excited. Hey. Oh my God. Who are you? Tiger Woods. Hey. Oh. Hey. That's Tiger Woods. Look alive. 
Mm-hmm. Good friend? Oh, yeah. Good, I like that. <laughs> He's talking about what it looks so, like. So, are you ready to do this? I know who you are. Of course you do, I am. Very famous. No, 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 no. Of course no. you do, I'm very Hold famous. Hold on a second. Roxy, this is not Tiger Woods. No, what are you talking about? I think this guy's an actor. Huh? He definitely pretended to be Donovan McNabb one time when I tried out for the Eagles. Donovan McNabb? I don't know what she's talking about. What? I play golf. Okay, Roxy, see, like, uh... this is exactly why you got to stop doing this shit. And sir, seriously. Okay, all right, all right. I'm sorry. You got me, all right? I'm busted. I am an actor. My name is Don Cheeto. No, you're Don not. Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I am. It's so good. Let's do it! Let's, Let's do it! Now it's just. Do you want some insulin? Do you want some insulin? Do you want some insulin? <laughs> you, want some insulin? <laughs> huh? you did what now? What is this thing doing with the needle? Oh, she is. Oh. Uh, I don't get it, but I don't need to. Okay, we'll see you there. Okay, bye. Um, dude. Hey, he so, already has shot. He uh, uh, totally just puked blood all over some lady in a limousine, and D is sucking off Don Cheadle or something, and Frank wants to go ahead and get married to Roxy as soon as possible, so we got fire down there. Dude. We can get crack from Roxy. Let's get crack from Roxy. Okay, perfect. Yeah, do you want some of this insulin? No, I just want crack. Okay, I'll just want crack. Let's fire down to John Wanamakers and get ourselves a couple of Tommy Bahama shirts. Are you familiar? Are you familiar? No, I just want crack. Yeah, so you about these shirts, bro. Yeah, you'll grow into yours, buddy. That's some Tommy Bahama. You hide your fatness? You know, they're ugly as all hell, but I've been growing my a lot more of the highest shit on crack. What's up, Astix? Astix, is that how you going to talk about Astix? Look, I'm not taking no shit no more, so get used to it. Also, I'm going to become a foot girl. All right, gross. Whatever. First of all, I'm not taking no shit no more, so get used to that. Frank would like to say a few words, everybody. So should we get the dead whore out of your yeah, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah. 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 That was an explosive episode one right there. I mean, no pun intended, but man, they firing on all cylinders right here on episode one. They coming in hard charging, man. They got jokes going crazy. They got topics going crazy. They just being mannish and just just bad as hell on the first episode of season seven. And I like all of it. So I like where we're going. Uh, it looks like we might be stepping it up a little bit with the grossness. And let's see how far we go where we can still keep it funny. I hope they just don't use that as like a joke and try to you know, hold on to that because it won't be as funny. But I hope they can use it in creative ways that, you know, that can be hilarious because I know it can. But the dialogue in here was crazy. What's up with Mac being uh, a chimichanga? I don't know. But it's going to be funny as hell if he keep that going until he, um, until he get his band right. So had a lot of fun with episode one. Can't wait to see what season seven talking about. I feel like the the writers for the show, um, our crew or whatever, saw the last two episodes, not counting the the Christmas special, but the last two episodes of season six. We were like, oh, look, there's good traits in them with the one episode where they really went out of their way to make Charlie special and the last episode with everybody really caring about Dee being pregnant. Um, and they were like, hold up, we got to remind people who the Always Sunny squad really yeah. is. And they're like, here's season seven, episode one. Remind them of the crack, right. you know, like all of it. I thought it was fantastic. I absolutely loved all the plot devices. I love Mac and Dennis going to the doctor to find that they're both unhealthy as shit, mm. but neither one of them are making any changes. They're no. just doubling down. I think that's fantastic. I love the pretty woman theme uh, match with Frank. That was brilliant. So yeah. smart. It was executed so well. All of that worked for me. And I love Dee's role and all of that too. I thought was really, really funny. So uh, the blue jeans was also funny as well. Just everything for this episode worked for me. Mm -hmm. Even the Charlie uh, eating uh, blood gel, whatever those things called, and having that episode, that's so aligned with everything that Charlie and Frank would come up with, and it was hilarious. Yeah. So it was just a really well-crafted episode from beginning to end, and I'm really looking forward to seeing where we go in Season 7. Yeah. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Always Sunny Season 7, Episode number 1. Until next time, people, peace.